Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to be rolling beans, but uh, we're not doing that right now. We saw I go get the roller, and then uh, we got to go to my brother's grandma to get a couch. At. We got to go to her house to get a couch. I don't know if we're putting a couch in the house or if we're taking the couch out of the house. I don't know. He didn't tell me. He just said we need to go get a couch. So we got to go do that after we get the roller, but uh, I got breakfast again. So I guess it's time for everybody's favorite segment. Mukbang time with D Wales. We'll go through the what we have here. I got another pizza. This time it's a breakfast pizza. Last time it was just three meat. It wasn't a three meat breakfast pizza. And I kind of worded that wrong. And then a, a breakfast puff. Some glazed donut. Some uh, glazed vanilla donuts. Snickers bar, because you're not here when you're hungry. And God's greatest creation. So, uh, I think we'll start off with the puff. It ain't too bad most of the time. It should be pretty warm, because I came right from the gas station. But, you can't call me fat today, because I don't know if this is all I have or not. Oh, this ain't too bad. That's pretty good. We're starting off pretty good here. What are you sniffing the shit for? Trying to get copyrighted again. Thanks a lot, YouTube. <clears throat> well, that wasn't too bad. On a rating of uh, bad to good, it was alright. <clears throat> so I guess we'll stick with the breakfast theme here. Go to breakfast pizza. These. It's better than just a plain old cheese pizza that they had there, but it's not burnt all. Most of the time they burn it, but it's actually cooked pretty good this time. Yep, yep, that ain't bad, that ain't bad. Who doesn't like Mountain Dew? If you don't like Mountain Dew, you have a problem. It's always good when you beat your neighbors done. He's spraying right now for beans. So that means he don't even got beans planted yet. Uh, uh, uh. What a nerd. You can slow poke. No, it takes you so long, man. You ain't got that many acres. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Y'all are making a storage on my phone right now. I gotta keep deleting videos and chip. <coughs> <coughs> but anyways, I uh just got a little bit of this pizza left already. Overall, it was honestly better than three meat pizza. Granted, it was warmer. Probably fresher. But it was better too. So no. Uh, after I finish this, I'll better cleanse my palate. And then I'll take these donut holes here. I'll be honest, I already know what these are going to taste like because I get them pretty much every time. 
they aren't the greatest thing. I don't know why I get them all the time. Because they honestly aren't. They're they're mid, right? They're about as mid as mid can get. But I get them every time, so I don't, I don't know. I must like them if I keep getting them. But I know the Snickers will be good, and obviously Mountain Dew. Greatest thing ever. So, I don't know what you'll see next, because my phone's literally at 5%. So, I just had to film this real quick and tell you this, because once it gets down to 5%, I can't film anymore. And it says battery's too low. Bitch, I don't fucking care. Film till that damn thing's dead. Alright. Goading filming setup, honestly, though. I just had to show you that real quick, too. So that was probably the smartest thing I'll do all day today. Put my speaker up. Oh, I strategically placed my speaker, too, first of all. <clears throat> so you, you see how you got the straw there? You know, I put my speaker right on that straw there so it can't, like, rotate back any. And I need to set my phone right on there. Then it gets just about, just about perfect angle. But now I'm messing up, so I, uh, I just had my speaker flip the wrong way, too, so... My phone's about ready to die. So. Yeah, um, you should see something, though. This shouldn't be it. I hope not. Run, Forrest, run! Alright, well, we're rolling. Uh, I couldn't get the wing to fold down. I don't know why. Like, it could my, well, be my right side ring. I get that one to fold down, no problem. But the left side, I couldn't get it to fold down. So I called the guy I'm riding in front and said, hey, can't get the full down. Oh, well, I'll come over there and see what's wrong. Well, so he came over here and messed with me a little bit and went down. So we're rolling now. Now with this, you go about five miles an hour. Then once I'm down with the field, I'll just kind of show you what it does. All it does basically is when you get the little rows in between the, like where the beans will be, it just basically just levels all that dirt out. Yeah, watch out so I don't hit nothing here. But it just basically levels all that dirt out, and then any rocks there will push them rocks right down. It's kind of a beast, honestly. But it's a heavy son of a gun, though. Holy cow. I hate going down the road with it, especially when you meet a car. You only go about 15 miles an hour. And, uh, I don't want to kill nobody. Or myself. So. I won't be able to film too much because I got my phone charged up a little bit, but it's still only at like uh, 13%. So I guess what you guys see, you guys see, and what you don't, oh, well, not my problem, your problem. I guess you should be riding with me then. Anyways, we're rolling. This field shouldn't take too long. It's only six acres and it's long rolls. I go about five miles an hour. Four, eight, five miles an hour. Right around there, that's, I've been told that's like the best speed. That's when it kind of pushes the rocks down the best. And it, levels of dirt off. You go any faster and it you only really push them down, you go any slower, then you're just kind of wasting your own time. But hopefully I ain't messing up by doing these because these beans here are kind of starting to push through in spots. They're really, they're really spotty though. They should be alright, I hope. I hope I'm not breaking all these beans. You're supposed to be able to roll them though. After you, after they're coming up just a little bit, you're supposed to be able to roll them still and then be alright supposed to come back stronger or something like that you know I don't really want to find out I don't want to have to replant a whole bunch of stuff so that's why I'm, there's a couple fields where I know for sure I can't do these this one here I probably shouldn't even be doing right here it's quite good up right there yeah I suppose I better put my phone down and kind of save battery all right well I got that field done already so I guess time to fold up just hit this button here third one I can't zoom out my ultra wide, but I guess this will work for you. But it's going up good now. So then I just got to tip it forward, and then there's chains I got to put on there. Once I get the wheels back on the ground, then I can head down the road to another seven acres, which won't take long, and then. I gotta go across the road to where I planted beans if you saw that. And I gotta go down to the other 20 acres where I planted beans if you saw that too. So I got the wings filled up now. They're all ready to go. Boom. And 
out. Take the wheels up. I'm trying to pay attention and do my best videoing here I can. But obviously I don't want to wreck it. I ain't got the money to pay for this. And I also want to check to see too if my beans are snapped off or not. They shouldn't be. It look, don't look like they are. Alright, there. I'm all the way up. I'll go put my chains on and I'll go to the next field and check my beans. So, see you then. Well, I'm here back to the home farm here. Uh, so this is, obviously we're running this. I don't have enough money to pay for this tractor in this roller. All right, this is probably like a $200,000. Uh, brand new is oh, definitely over $200,000 setup. But, uh, this is an 8320. So I'll figure about 320 horsepower. Biggest tractor I ever drove and nicest one for sure. It's even got a GPS in it. But, I thought I couldn't get that fucker to unfold again. That, that one's kind of a pain in the ass to unfold. But I was just going to do this seven acre field here. And then that one across the waterway, it kind of connects back and then there's strips there. So this first strip here is corn and it's beans and then corn and beans. So I was just going to do this one, but since that field I was already in had beans standing up good, I think I'll try going in the mother fields because they were planted two days before this was. So I'll try going in there and seeing how the beans, I'll, I'll look at it before I go in there and see if the beans are up any taller in the other field. But if they aren't, then I guess I'll be able to roll that too. Which is good because the very top strip don't really have any rocks in it. So that one won't really matter too much. But the first bean strip has rocks. And that other field right across the waterway there has a good amount of rocks. So it's a good thing that That this is uh, didn't crush my beans down for a couple reasons, but I guess I'll get rolling in here. Literally, <laughs> I'm funnier now. I'll get rolling again, okay? Cause I'm rolling. Oh shit! I want to cross the water right here into this. Oh, probably about 15 acre field. I didn't do all of it. I was kind of worried. These beans were up a little higher. I was kind of worried about rolling it. I made a pass down and back, and I looked at them. There wasn't too much damage, really, for the most part. You'd, every now and then, you'd have one. Out of every 20 or 30 of them, you'd might have one that was broke off, and then some leaves that were gone. But so I just basically went over the rocks, which ended up being half of the field, anyways. He can't really tell on the phone here, but. I don't know if I can, you can see what kind of job it does either. But see, so right here is a line that was rolled on this half. This half was rolled. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the dirt is a lot smoother over here where it was rolled. And then the rocks were also pushed down. It's, it's funny though how it'll push a you know massive limestone rock down. But when it comes to these beans, yeah, see, you see, this is what I don't really want to see here. Our leaves laying around everywhere and broke off like that. I don't want to see that. So the only thing is that it was planted a little thicker, like 150,000. So if it fucks up, maybe 10, 20,000 seeds an acre. That ain't that bad. But all I'm gonna do now is just shoot up over the hill, then across the road, and go to over there. I know none of them won't be up, but they shouldn't be up yet. Them have only been planted for a couple days. But it's funny how they can push a big limestone rock down. But when it comes to a bean, it won't snap a bean off. And usually though, when they're small, you can still drive on them, they'll pop up fine. That's with a tractor or a truck though, not a 40,000 pound roller.
almost done with this field. Uh, I won't be able to finish before it's over, so before I got pulled the teats. I'll be able to get the field by the road done. Do a little five, six acre one. I'll be able to get that one done. But I won't be able to get the other 20 acres done. So I'll just text my brother and I'm sure he won't be heartbroken if he don't drive this nice John Deere. Well, I'll get a little bit of a time lapse because I uh, let my phone charge a little bit while, I'm in, while I was in here. It's only charged like 17%, so not a whole bunch, but enough for a little time lapse of the other field. So uh, I just got a one more going down in this one. And this big 25, 24 acres. Rolling is it's boring, right? You're not really doing anything other than just driving back and forth. Looking at the nice level ground and push down rocks and all that. And then you I mean well I, I picked her up a gear because I'm just messing around and it pushes it down just as good at six miles an hour as it does five. But most of the time even in the rocks I do shift down to five. But if I'm just going in dirt, then I'll put up the six. It levels it off just as good. So. I'll switch to the other field by the road. And should be able to get that one done in 40 minutes. Long, narrow, long rows, and then it's not really a very wide field either. So look at this big old 40 foot mean machine thing. That ain't gonna take too long. can't feel how heavy it is through the phone. If it did, you'd probably be squished by now, but uh, it really wobbles the tractor once these wings come up here. Of course, these wings are probably 15, yeah, they're probably 15 foot a piece. Okay, now let's tip her back. And there we go. I just gotta go put some chains on it for traveling down the road. And 
Now I guess we'll head on back to the farm. Take our time getting out of here because it's kind of an uneven driveway. I don't really like coming out of here, but I don't know where else to go out. Right here. I'm gonna need to tilt you probably a little more. shuts off. <laughs> Alright. Not a lot of turn the radio off here. Turn that off. Okay. Hopefully the monitor turns off. That'll probably be it for this one. This will probably all all I'll roll. My brother will probably do the rest more than likely. If not, I guess I'll probably see you in a couple hours. Nope. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.